Hello, and thank you for joining us here on the OnChain News Network. My name is Stephanie Page. Today is July 19, 2022. Here are some of the news we will be covering. Crypto market cap back 1 trillion. African CB to use CBDC. USA to launch NFT IP study. Chaco stand finally empty. Celsius restructuring. 3 AC owes $2.36 billion. All cryptocurrencies' market capitalization surpassed $1 trillion in a day of green candles. The total crypto market capitalization has retaken $1 trillion. Crypto market cap is almost as valuable as global silver. Bitcoin enjoyed a double-digit gigapump to $22,500, while Ethereum kissed $1,500. Their combined efforts boosted the crypto market by 4.8% to $1.02 trillion. Bitcoin reclaimed $420 billion in market cap, while Ethereum has $180 billion after adding $20 billion in 24 hours. The crypto market last crossed $1 trillion on June 13. Given that the Fear and Greed Index has been at extreme fear or fear for months on end, the beaten-down market is indeed eager to bask in bullish news despite the fact that it has been sitting at extreme fear. Before popping the champagne, consider the previous market cap high. It topped $3 trillion in 2021, meaning $2 trillion was lost. Time will tell whether this is just a relief rally or the beginning of the next bull run. As part of its efforts to adopt cryptocurrencies and blockchain technology as tools to support the weakened economy, the Central African Republic CAR, has proposed to use Bitcoin as a reserve asset. Following the adoption of a policy aimed at making BTC legal in the nation, CAR has decided to use the most valuable cryptocurrency as part of its national reserves. In April, the country became the first African country to officially recognize Bitcoin as legal cash. The idea was devised by two politicians, Minister of Digital Economy Gurna Zako and Minister of Finance Calixt Nganongo, and received support from the national legislature. The bill received a unanimous vote in the Senate and received the endorsement of officials. The CAR followed up on its Bitcoin legalization bill with the Sango Project, a blockchain-based platform to assist the country's adoption of cryptocurrencies. According to the claims, Sango is a liquid network-inspired Bitcoin sidechain. Sango is scheduled to debut on July 25 and is anticipated to operate as a Layer 2 component of a digital monetary system. Non-fungible tokens or NFT have gone popular in recent years, impacting various areas, including IP rights. U.S. Copyright and Trademark Officials will evaluate this impact. The U.S. Copyright Office and the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office will perform the study to see how NFT may impact the IP landscape soon. Senators Thom Tillies, RNC, and Patrick Leahy, DVT, requested the research last month. The two senators, who are the highest-ranking members of the Senate's Intellectual Property Subcommittee, asked the two agencies to examine IP rights related to NFT today and how they will grow in the future. They suggested the study be done by July 2023. Legislators asked, What are rights transfers? How does an NFT transfer affect IP rights? Which licenses apply? How may NFT IP rights be licensed? How is IP protected? How is the NFT creator's IP protected? What if the NFT creator isn't the asset creator? Both offices will conduct the study. They said they'd involve NFT industry stakeholders and two legislators. NFT have been at the center of many IP-related legal battles despite being around for only a few years. Nike is suing online sneaker reseller StockX. According to Nike's lawsuit, the latter launched an NFT series based on Nike's sneakers, amounting to selling counterfeits. The XRP in Jed McCaleb's taco stand wallet has been completely depleted. The last sale was on the 17th. It is projected that Jed has made a total of $3 billion in earnings since 2014, now that he has successfully sold all of his XRP holdings. The majority of his sales took place after the SEC lawsuit was filed against Ripple, and he cashed out a total of $2.56 billion after the 22nd of December 2020. A day of historic significance was experienced by the XRP community. Celsius Network was the latest crypto company hit by Crypto Winter. The corporation and its mining unit filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy after paying off obligations to Compound and Maker and Bitcoin loans earlier this month. 
the corporation declared bankruptcy to protect itself while reorganizing. Sosisi's filings disclosed $5.5 billion in liabilities. $4.7 billion is owing to customers. After its court hearing, the company presented its reorganization plans. The corporation has exited most situations where it borrowed and posted collateral. Most of the firm's crypto asset keys are stored on fireblocks. No intermediates are used. Celsius has stopped new loans, currency exchanges, and coin transfers. They've suspended loan accounts and halted loan liquidation. The business has ceased new investment activities, including staking assets on other protocols. Celsius also plans to restructure the company. Celsius Mining Unit filed for bankruptcy but is still active. 43,000 mining rigs under Celsius are still functioning. The company plans to use Bitcoin to reimburse debts. The company considers asset sales and third-party investments. Now that mining rigs are part of their assets, selling them can affect plummeting prices. The firm may offer clients the choice to recoup cash at a discount or hold Bitcoin. Many won't like this unpleasant alternative. Celsius is stuck. The company must earn back customers' trust. The company's future is uncertain. 3 Arrows Capital, 3 AC, owes Genesis $2.36 billion, according to trustee Tenio. Genesis Asia Pacific Limited lent $2.36 billion to 3 Arrows Capital, according to court documents. Tenio's 1,157-page court petition disclosed the figures. Even if the numbers were obscure, they now appear. The paper also shows that Genesis tried to reclaim portion of its loans last month. 17,443,644 Grayscale Bitcoin Trust shares, 2,739,043.83 AVAX tokens, 13,583,265 NIR tokens, and 446,928 Grayscale Ethereum Trust shares are collateralized. 3AC filed Chapter 15 bankruptcy on July 1st. 3AC unable to provide additional collateral, thus Genesis moved. Genesis issued through the American Arbitration Association to make up for missing collateral AAA. Genesis notified 3AC after it failed to meet the requirement. Ju Su sues his own firm, 3 Arrows Capital, for $5 million. The news stunned many. 3AC Limited, the fund's investment manager, also claimed $25 million. The fund would be among 3AC largest debtors. BitGo, Voyager, Algorand, Defiance, Celsius, BlockFi, SBI Crypto, Moobid Network were listed. 3AC claims totaled $2.8 billion. Today's 3AC creditors meeting will review procedures. Tenio restructuring, which published court documents, would supervise the session. That is all for today. We hope you enjoyed the show. Please comment below and tell us your thoughts on these stories. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe and we will see you in our next video. You stay classy crypto community.